What's going on YouTube? Today I am going to be showing you, or today I'm going to be recording the uh, second video in my iMovie for Beginner series, and today we are going to be talking about how to add um, sounds, soundtracks, custom audio, and garage bands into your video. Let's get into it. Alright, so um, I'm here in our uh, iMovie for Beginners movie, um, and last time I was kind of ta uh, talking about these buttons up here and what they do. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to know all that. Um, so, the first thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this clip and turn its volume all the way down so we can add some custom audio. Um, so, if you're adding custom audio, all you want to do is go to this tab right here and click audio. Um, then you can kind of select where you're getting it from GarageBand, sound effects, or iTunes. Of course, iTunes would be your playlist you have on this um, computer. Uh, so any of these. Um, then sound effects is any kind of sound effects that iMovie has. Uh, they've got a lot of them. And then GarageBand is obviously GarageBand. So I will be... Um, demonstrating each of these starting with um, the iMovie so, or starting with iTunes so I'll just go ahead and take um, let's see here I'll go with this was a good song so all you want to do is uh, drag it out and then you can kind of select where it's gonna go I'm just gonna put it all the way at the beginning like that and then if I select our clip right here and hit play. So you can probably hear that if you couldn't, if the music was playing. Um, and then that'll just play through. Now, obviously this extends way farther than um, the video itself. So what you're going to want to do if that happens is get this icon right here, these little um, uh, mouse uh, two pointers, and you just want to, wait, I didn't get the right one, hold on, there, so there has to be that bar in the middle, and you're just going to drag it, so I think I'll put it to 10 seconds of music, right there, perfect, so now, as you can see, it is, um, within the clip, so now it won't, uh, extend farther, so... So now we want to talk about sound effects. Um, so all you have to do with these, I mean, you can um, hit this play button to kind of test it. Um, alarm. Well, I'll go with uh, why not ambient effect one. So I'm gonna take this and not connect it, just a little bit off right there. And then if I go to the end of our music. And then, so this one extends a little bit farther, and there's a whole blank spot right at this part right here. There's just gets blank. So what we're gonna do is take the end and drag right. That that should probably be good. So now if we click, I'm also gonna actually take the audio off of this, so that's better. Um, Alright, so now we have the audio off of both of these and this clip. Um, so I'm gonna, now all I have to do is get a GarageBand. Okay, so you're gonna wanna go to GarageBand. Um, I don't exactly know where it is on my computer, so here we go. And so I was not able to find a way to actually get GarageBands in, so you're gonna have to go to a different video to do that. One last thing. Um, um, if I select right here and hit microphone, and then record. I am recording. It is recording my voice right there. I'm just going to hit pause. All right. So now if I play. I am recording. It is recording my voice right there. I'm All right. Um, done. Stop. All right. Um, that is just how to add your own voice. All right. So. Um, this has been 
uh, iMovie for Beginners, how to add your voice, custom audio, sound and sound effects. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. My channel has been growing insanely fast, and I couldn't be more happy with the results. Um, thanks to everybody who has subscribed, and I will see you in the next video.